This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. More here with you and I had softball coach Ryan Jacobs. The Panthers have had a big month of April and they find themselves right at the top of the conference standings. Uh, talk about the Missouri Valley Conference this year. Preseason number one Drake uh, had, had an injury and, and they're not at the top of the standings right now. But what do you expect to see in the next month as, as the season winds down here for you? I think we're going to see much of the same we have every year where you could go from first place to fifth in two weekends. You can go from seventh to fourth. I mean, it, it's just amazing how uh, you know, it comes down, it always comes down to the last two weekends and, uh, you know, it can make or break you, um, you know, and, you, you know, it's, it's everybody's goal to be playing well at that time. Um, you know, for us, it comes with that finals week right before the last weekend and, and typically that, that helps us get a little burst of energy because, you know, finals are over and now we just focus on playing ball. And so we're looking forward to that, but it, it's going to be a, a jumbled mess like always. I don't think anybody's <laughs> just going to run away with it. You know, Illinois State's done a great job, yeah. but they got two, two or three teams right on their heels. So it'll be interesting. We talked about in the last segment about the hitting and the offense, and that's been a big part of your success. Defensively, though, what do you like, especially in the last month from your team? You know, we've just we've been making routine plays. I think that's the key. Uh, the routine plays are, are key, um, and we're doing that better this year than we have in years past. Um, you know, which has allowed us to uh, have a little bit of uh, time to get our offense going. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the pressure of having to score runs in bunches isn't there right now, and and, and that's a, the key to that is having great pitching and great defense, and not forcing your offense to, to try to do too much. And um, that's allowed us to be, you know, just kind of progress as we've needed to, not try to rush things. And when you try to rush things, you get frustrated and. With young kids, frustration is not a good thing. Yeah. There's been time and time again we've seen a walk-off hit or home run and just the confidence that, hey, backs against the wall but still able to step up and make a play. And then how fun is it to see the celebration of the, your student-athletes after they seize the moment, make the play, and win the game? It's just it's just really nice. It's it's. I'm very proud of this team and, the, and where they've come, um, not just as players, but as a team together, you know, making sure that we're, we're doing the right things on a daily basis uh, and knowing that, and trusting that if we are doing those right things that we just never know when we're going to be, you know, we're going to reap the reward of, of doing those right things. And, and they're trusting in that right now and, and they're trusting in it as a team and they're trusting in it as individuals and to see some of those in, individuals step up and make those big plays or get those big hits is, it's just nice to see. And I just hope that um, just strengthens that faith and trust in what we're doing and, and we'll just keep getting better. The teams that listen to their coaches usually find success and you can tell that they definitely are.